Dr. Vicki Peterson here. More and more individuals in the U.S. are getting cancer. I think we all know that. I was just talking to a patient who has been doing a lot in addition to she had to do chemotherapy, surgery, et cetera. It's been quite a long haul. Um, but she said, it's so interesting. She said, my, she said I got um, the diagnosis. And she said, literally the first thing the nurse said to me is she said, um, you know, you'll hear that you shouldn't eat sugar. That's nonsense. You know, just enjoy, eat what you want. There's, no, there's absolutely no truth to the fact that sugar causes cancer. Oh, so that makes me want to scream. But um, actually, in medicine, they will give you a sugar infusion to see how the cancer cells are responding to treatment because cancer cells love sugar and sugar will cause your cancer cells to literally light up uh, in the test that they do and it's absolutely proven that sugar um, cancer cells adore sugar and so if you have cancer if you're predisposed genetically in some fashion if you want to make sure you don't get cancer don't eat any sugar it really truly is that simple i tell my patients sugar is the devil um, and it really is and and this is <laughs> speaking from being a complete sugar addict when i was younger uh, have handled that of course uh, but what can you do it's like oh does that mean you know, I go through life with Brussels sprouts and cauliflower or, you know, which I think are delicious, but no, there's still enjoyment. I mean, fresh fruit is delicious. Now do appreciate the fact if you've been consuming a lot of sugar, your sweet taste is kind of very, ins it's been desensitized, meaning it takes a lot for you to taste sweet. Um, however, when you start to eat less and anybody who's just gone off sugar for Lent or any sort of religious holiday or just decided to take a break, when they do that, they find that their sensitivity really increases, meaning all of a sudden a piece of fruit tastes delicious and uh, something that, that was much less sweet in the past now tastes very, very good. So, um, and then there's also things like dates. Now, dates are very, very sweet and there's... Um, a date sugar that it's just dried dates so it's no less a, a real whole food uh, there's date syrup there's a, a little bit of maple syrup a little bit of honey um, these things in moderation but you really want to enjoy what's naturally sweet in the way of, of fruits and um, some dried fruit is of course very very sweet and there's so many healthy desserts you can make. We have a ton of them on our website, rootcausemedicalclinics.com. We have hundreds of recipes. Many are desserts um, because we want our patients to appreciate how they can enjoy things that are sweet that don't have sugar, uh, don't have artificial sweeteners. Um, you can also play with stevia a little bit. Sweet Leaf is a nice company. It's got a nice liquid that doesn't have that weird, well not weird, but a bitter aftertaste that stevia is so known for. So really do take to heart that sugar is absolutely a cause of cancer. I'm not saying it's the only cause, and I'm not saying every person you know who eats a lot of sugar is going to get cancer, but the association is very well known. And of course, sugar causes a lot of things like obesity and diabetes, and it's very inflammatory. So it, it causes a lot of health problems that we, of course, we want to avoid. Um, but really make an effort, especially with your children. Um, stop having rewards for your kids be sugary, sweet treats, you know. I was leaving the gym the other day, and um, the dad had been working out, and, and the little boy had, had been at the, the little daycare at the gym. And he's like, Daddy, Daddy, I want candy. And he's like, were you good? You know, and hey, I, I grew up that way too, and many of us did. But shifting that is would go a long way to helping us be so much healthier. So give it some thought. Look at your options. I, I've made many changes in my family's diet over the years as I've learned more and more about various foods. Um, my son used to start the, every morning with four eggs every single morning. You know, I, lit, I did successfully get him off that even though he's an adult. Um, but these changes can be made if you intend to make them and you can still have delicious treats. 
uh, but, but the sugar, really try to avoid. I hope this was helpful. If your health is not the way you want it to be, or a member of your family's health is not the way you want it to be, please reach out. That's why we're here at Root Cause. We're very good at getting to the underlying reason why symptoms have erupted in your life and in your body. And we have great tools to really get the answers of why and what we can do about it. So um, I want everybody to enjoy great health. So give me a call if you want some help. The number here is 408-733-0400.